Hey guys, today we're gonna talk about being ugly. And now that you're here, we can get started. A twinge of cringe. My name is Chad Chad. Not really. I don't know how you keep falling for that. It's it's not Chad Chad. It's never been Chad Chad. And the most important thing in life is being pretty. Not friends, not family, not getting to enjoy life without having to constantly consider what you look like from an outside perspective and your first thought when you hear a joke being, am I gonna look good while I laugh at this instead of just, hey, that was funny. I'm gonna laugh at this. Is that how people think? I don't even know anymore. I want to blame a lot of this on TikTok, but every social media platform is to blame. All you have to do is look at 2016 beauty trends and see the full glam beads people were putting on to go watch Suicide Squad. And that doesn't exclude me. I'm going to be very vulnerable right now and show you how I was doing my eyebrows in 2016. This is me opening up to you. This is bringing us closer. Do you feel close to me? Are you close? So it's not like TikTok invented this. Beauty standards have literally always existed. It's just the way it's enabled us to see everyone's opinion on beauty every second of every day. It's like a constant bombarding of expectations from hundreds of thousands of people, which makes the standard for being pretty not only more unattainable, but also more expected. Being attractive is like an internet admission fee, one that I can't pay, according to this guy that I recently made a video about. I will be always ignoring you and ladies like you because you fucking ugly bitch for real. She hate me, but she won't me. And this is heartbreaking. I am distraught. I can't eat. I can't sleep. I can't poop. All I do is cry and pine for my one true love, my cupcake, my boo cake, my sweet little tiny little urinal cake. And I want, nay, I need to win him over. And that means I'm gonna need to glow up. Thankfully, there's a TikTok creator by the name of the Glow Ups Gal who can help me out with that. Because of TikTok's crazy beauty standards, we end up with most of us not feeling comfortable in our own skin. And that means that sometimes we wanna change something about ourselves. And that's perfectly okay. We all have insecurities, not me. That's a skill issue. But it also means that people will post TikToks asking the internet what they can do to look better. Perfect place to do that. Nothing could go wrong. Everyone here is so nice and kind. And this is where the Glow Ups gal steps up to the plate. Basically, she'll find these types of videos with people asking for advice, whether they've asked how to look better or if they've asked for brutal honesty about what's wrong with them. And then she'll give it to them. I got you, girl. Since you asked for brutal honesty, I'm going to give you an honest makeover to help you instantly glow up. First, I'm removing your glasses. I got you, girl. Since you asked for brutal honesty, I have to say your face is honestly brutal. Most of her videos are a minute to two minutes long, but they could probably all be summed up with just, hey, put some makeup on. I got you, girl. Since you asked for brutal honesty, I'm gonna go in with concealer and a skin tint to cover your acne and even at your skin tone. I also use bronzer to contour your face into looking more defined. Here's the end result. Look at that difference. She doesn't go into what products to use or how to apply unsaid products. I would say the instructions aren't very specific, but they don't exist, really. I'm going in with some contour and highlighter on your nose to make it appear smaller. It's even more unhelpful that she isn't actually doing any of the things that she's recommending recommending these people do. Like she'll say she's applying contour to the forehead. No, you're not. This is phase two. You're just swiping your finger on a screen of pixels. Okay, and now I'm just gonna fill in my eyebrows. And done. Comparing the results of Facetune to what your makeup should look like in real life is so unreasonable. Oh, when you apply your concealer, it shows the lines in your skin that everybody has. But when I did it on a screen with an airbrush tool, it looked nothing like that. Maybe it's a skill issue? Maybe you're just too ugly? Maybe you're just way beyond help. It even goes beyond this because I've noticed a lot of these glow up videos will change the person's entire face structure. Like in this one, as she swipes over, you can see it completely shaped off the edge of her face. Look at that difference. Look at that difference. Look at that difference. Look at that, at that, that difference. difference. Here is a simple and achievable trick to glow up that I like to call not having this face. I don't like that one. Get rid of it. She also starts this one by saying that these are tips to instantly glow up. And then her first suggestion is that they grow out their hair. I'm gonna give you an honest makeover to help you instantly glow up. Starting off with your hair, I'd suggest growing it your out. Your hair isn't doing much for you, so I'd suggest growing it out as much as possible. Starting with your hair, I'd suggest growing it out. I'd suggest growing it out. So one of the most not instant things you can do. Hey, grow your hair I out. I will. Now, do it now. I'm trying. Instantly grow out your hair. Just Instant, ASAP, front squeeze it out of there, get it out. Stat. Oh my god, I can't believe that worked. That was strenuous, I sure could use a, a sip of water. I love taking sips of water from my air up water bottle.
made by Arab. This video is sponsored by Arab. Unfortunately, I have the type of brain where I'll procrastinate drinking water. So I'll be thinking to myself, oh, I haven't had enough water today. I should really drink some. It's important and it keeps me alive. But I don't want to do that right now. No. Fortunately though, Arup makes drinking water more interesting using scent-based taste. I'm still getting hydrated and drinking plain water with no sugars or sweeteners added, but with Arup's flavor pods, it doesn't seem like plain water to me. They have 15 different flavors to choose from. My new favorite is the cherry cola, but before that it was lime or the orange vanilla swirl. I love swirling. I love swirlies. You just have to fill up your Arup bottle with water. You can even use sparkling water if you want, get a little fancy. Choose your scent pod and pop it on there. Then you just have to activate your pod by lifting it like this and voila. Now you can start drinking from your bottle while holding it straight up. Plus their bottles are really cute and there's just something about having a colorful bottle that makes me use it more often. And yes, that is the same thought process as a hummingbird. And so what are you gonna do? Nothing. I can take you and I'm a, I'm a freaking hummingbird and I can take you. If you wanna check them out, you can visit the website on screen or just click the link in my description. Thanks to Arup for sponsoring and let's get back to the video. In a couple other videos, she will completely change where people's facial features are. For example, this glow up involves relocating someone's eyeball. Since you asked for brutal honesty, I'm gonna tell you exactly what you can do to be prettier. Starting off, your hair isn't doing much for you. So I'd suggest growing it out as much as possible. Now I'm adding mascara to really Really make your eyes pop and give you a big boost in femininity, as well as adding some highlighter to your inner corners. As well as adding some highlighter to your inner corners. She'll say she's just adding mascara, but as she's using the app, it's literally changing the whole shape of someone's eye. Look at that difference. It is different a different person. You made them on your phone and they're not real. They look like a character from episode now. And now for the reveal. Look at that difference. A lot of her standards for what counts as pretty are pretty questionable. That's a good one. One of her most frequent recommendations is that they make their hair blonde and straight. To start off, I'm giving you a few highlights to lighten your hair. I'm also just styling it by straightening for a cleaner look. Giving you this bright white foxy blonde color. Starting off with your hair, I think a bright blonde would look way better on you. This person, for example, has gorgeous curly hair. And the first thing Glow Up Scal says is, Starting off, your hair isn't doing much for you. I'd suggest growing it out and dyeing it a more suiting color. Starting out, have you tried having white people hair? Have you tried Eurocentric beauty standards? I've heard a lot about them. People seem to be talking about them a lot. They seem to be pretty popular right now. You should try it. She doesn't seem to approve of any dyed hair colors. No greens, no blues, no reds. And objectively, I think that's pretty messed up. From an outside perspective with no personal skin in the game, I think that's very not cool. If she does come across someone with more of an alternative style, she'll transform them to not. To not have that. Starting off with your hair, I'm ignoring personal style and getting rid of your bangs. Here's the end result. Look at that difference. To start, I'm ignoring the style that you clearly prefer and feel most comfortable in in order to enforce my own narrow idea of what beauty should look like onto you. Her standards are eerily similar to my grandmother's. No hair dye, no tattoos, no short hair. Also, I think Trump is Jesus. I'm just saying I've never seen him in the same room before. Another one of her standards is that prettier equals smaller. Face, smaller. smaller. Nose, smaller. smaller. Self-esteem, smaller. A lot of her tips and tricks are done for the sole purpose of making things appear small. She contours the forehead to make it look smaller. She contours the nose to make it look small. She suggests growing out your hair to make your face smaller. I'm also using some contour on your cheeks and jaw to lift your face and make it look smaller. I'm using some contour on your nose to make it appear smaller. Going in with some bronzer to add some warmth to your face and contour it to look smaller. As well as some bronzer to contour your face into looking slimmer. Because your face should be tiny. The closer your face is to not existing, the better. I want to have to use a microscope to see your beauty. And the winner of 2024 Miss America is Cha Cha. There she is. She is absolutely glowing. I can't see her. Exactly, John. And that is why we love her. No, she's not there. Right you are, John. How does she do it? Sometimes it seems like her main goal is to make everybody look like the same person. Any ounce of individualism just gets sucked away immediately. Man, sure wish my name was individualism the way it's getting sucked uh, the way it's getting sucked out immediately around here. Sure wish my name was individualism. I've never seen Glow Up Scal do a video for a guy, and that might be because the only advice she has to offer is wear makeup, grow your hair longer, and don't have acne. So these are all pretty groundbreaking concepts in the world of beauty. You might be thinking she never does videos for guys because it's only girls requesting them, but apparently that doesn't matter because a lot of the girls 
didn't request them either. She actually just grabs whatever video she wants, I guess, and puts text over the original to make it appear like they've asked her to do this. I got you, girl. For your hair, I don't think this color or style is doing much for you. It looks like you have some kind of deep acne scarring, so if you'd like a more permanent fix to this, I'd look into a dermabrasion or getting a chemical peel from a dermatologist. This is the original video. There's no caption. There's no request anywhere for Glow Up Scale to give this person a glow up. The creator of the original even made this post, reiterating that they did not ask for this to happen. And once people realized that this user didn't actually request a glow up, they started to notice this being a pattern for glow up. Scout. Two of her biggest, most viewed videos are glow ups given to people that did not ask for them. I found the originals for both of them thanks to the comments and you can see them here and that she just added her own text over it. How can I glow up? Be brutally honest. I got you girl. Since you asked for brutal honesty. Did she though? Did she ask for that? Did she really? Sometimes like in this video, she'll say things like, I'd suggest using tretinoin or going on Accutane. So I'd suggest going on Accutane. First of all, no one asked, literally, this person did not ask. And second of all, she says this like it's not something someone with acne is already gonna be aware of. It's so expensive and complicated to get a prescription for Accutane. And there are so many hoops you have to jump through to get it and continue taking it. Plus all the side effects that people may not wanna deal with. So I promise someone with acne is aware of the existence of Accutane. And yeah, I've had acne for most of my life it affects me on a daily basis so i've pretty much tried everything have you tried drinking more water yeah it's like the first thing i tried i recommend drinking more water thank you this was helpful also try putting on some fucking makeup in this video which is also someone who did not ask for advice or brutal honesty this is glow up gal's first tip to start off i'd suggest getting your braces off hey that thing you're doing to straighten your teeth and improve your appearance Stop doing that. This is especially funny to me because in this glow up video, she actually advises this person get braces. Starting off, I'd suggest getting braces to help straighten out your teeth as well as whitening them to appear cleaner. You can do this in a dental office or at home with whitening strips. So you should have braces. You just shouldn't let anyone see them. Go get braces, but don't you dare show your face around here till they're gone. Obviously their plan is to remove the braces. That's the plan of every person who gets braces. This was so unnecessary. This was like when someone tells you to do something that you're already in the middle of doing, which pisses me off. So I would keep the braces on forever out of spite. My teeth would be straighter than three in one body wash. And I just wanna add a reminder that this person did not ask to have their appearance critiqued. They did not ask for someone on the internet to be brutally honest about their face. And speaking of which, the glow up scowl, I can't say glow up scowl now, my mouth, is so dry. I sure could use a sip of water for my Air Up water bottle made by Air Up. And speaking of which, the Glow Up Scal has never shown hers. She only uses voiceovers, and as far as I can tell, this is her only account. It's just so ironic that a faceless creator is posting these videos telling other people that they're not attractive enough. How do we know you're qualified? How do we know you don't have braces? How do we make sure your face is the size of a protozoa? Unfortunately, a big portion of the videos Glow Up Scal posts are of young girls. Some are probably in their teens. Some might be even younger. And just imagine being that age, scrolling on TikTok, and then finding out an account saw you and decided that you needed a complete Photoshop makeover to look better. Ahem. How would that be beneficial to anyone, let alone someone whose face isn't even gonna look the same in a few years? Your face isn't done cooking yet. Even the question, how can I look better, is already an impossible one. What looks better to me isn't the same as what looks better to you, and what looks better to Glow Up Scal is really fucking weird. Just because her idea of beauty is looking more feminine and smoother and smaller, teeny, teeny tiny, even. Doesn't mean that's what people want to look like or should look like. Beauty is different for everyone. Beauty is like a, a, be a belly button. They're all unique and different, but I still want to stick my finger in every single one of them. Is that a weird thing to say? Consensually. And if, as long as you're over the age of like 25. Despite all of this, Glow Up Scal considers herself enough of an expert in beauty to offer private, virtual makeovers for money. Her bio has a link to a website where you can purchase a makeover for $20 that will help you unlock your full potential of being the, the prettiest, sexiest amoeba you can be. Ooh, you're so cute, you're so pretty. What a pretty little amoeba. I bought the advanced style for $25 on sale for 15 and pretty much right after I bought it, they were sold out. So I was very lucky I got one in time. I submitted my picture like the instructions told me 
and I messaged her asking for help. But then I got an email telling me that it could be up to four weeks before I got my makeover back. Update, I sent this on March 4th and it is currently 1.14 a.m. on March 23rd and I still haven't gotten anything back. I don't know how to fix my forehead. Please help me. What am I supposed to do? I don't have four weeks. Dimitri won't wait that long. I have to do something now. Right now. Like right now. Now we're gonna go to the next. Just go to the next thing. Why are you still here? Can we? Is this because people were complaining that the videos, that your videos aren't long enough and you're trying to make them longer? That is so annoying. Go to the next. All right, so this is what we're working with. Clearly I have pores and that's not cool or okay at all. So we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of those. Now we're just applying concealer to my under eyes. If this isn't what your concealer looks like when you're applying concealer, then you're a failure as a human being and you should just give up on everything. And now I'm just adding mascara and a little bit of eyeliner on, in my waterline and in my eye as well and <laughs> it's looking great so far. So now we're just applying contour to the forehead to make it appear smaller, hopefully. Uh, we pray to God. Now we're just applying a little bit of blush, just a little bit, just a, a pinch, a touch of blush. Oh, I almost forgot to contour my nose. We need to contour the nose also to make it a little bit, uh, to make it a little, we need to make it little. We need to make it small. Oh my God. As you can see the transformation, just, I mean, look at that difference. This is already so much better. I was trying to put a PNG on Snapchat, but it, <laughs> it wouldn't work. <laughs> so this is just me <laughs> trying to, yeah, that looks really good. Look oh, no. at that difference. Oh, Actually, you know what? Now that I'm looking at it, this is still looking a little too big. Everything's a little too big. Let's just get in there with the reshape tool and correct that. This is already looking way better. Now we're talking. That is the ideal face size and shape, guys. This is the hair is still... I'm still trying to use the PNG. Now we're just going to go ahead and make my hair good which means blonde this is how it's looking <laughs> and now for the final reveal wow look at that difference guys this is amazing i am finally dimitri's type he will finally be attracted to me we can finally get married you guys are all invited to the wedding thank you so much for being here hugs and kisses mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i'm gonna call it there guys thank you for subscribing and if you are still here thank you so much for watching i appreciate you clicking on my video out of all the videos that are on here and i'll see you next time okay bye